I'd like to show you a clock that I've printed with my 3D printer. Nearly everything is printed with a 3D printer except of a few metal parts. Here you can see the escapement mechanism printed in red and the yellow spring. The fast moving black gear is the gear for the seconds and behind that gear, a little larger, is the gear for the minutes and next to it the gear for the hours. I was using Blender to do the design in 3D. I was creating all the parts and it was quite tricky to size them properly so that they fit well together after printing. Here is an example. You can see the gear for the poly. is a mesh that consists of many 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 vertices. The mesh was exported to a 3D printing software which creates layers by layers, lines by lines and finally here in this 3D view you can see all the lines together. The lines are then transferred to the 3D printer which prints very thin layers of approximately a tenth of a millimeter on top of each other. The PLA is heated up to approximately 200 degrees Celsius and the layers stick together. The process takes pretty long to print the gear. It takes approximately two or three hours. And here you can see the printing bed moving slowly downwards Finally, the result, the pulley gear. A very interesting moment then is when it's time to remove the part from the print bed. Actually, it's the most dangerous part of the work because you have to be careful to not hurt yourself. The clock consists of 30 printed parts, 7 axes, 11 screws. Also the main escapement parts are printed, even the spring is a printed part. Here is how I put together all the pieces, first the escapement wheel, then the lever, the gear for the seconds, the yellow spring, then there is the balance wheel, then there is gears for minutes and hours, here is the pulley with five screws to attach the gear. Finally need to fit in six axes at the same time, which is pretty tricky to fit the top frame on it, because all six axes need to fit at the same moment. The frames to hold together with two screws and it needs an additional four screws for the clock face. And it's almost done. Finally need to put together some pieces for the weight, the crank. Using the crank now to lift the weight. The weight is not yet attached, but I'm going to attach it now. And it's running. Now we can see the clock running at actual speed. I'm using the printed crank to lift the weight. Finally the weight adds the energy to keep the clock running when it's slowly moving down. The clock runs pretty accurate. Within an hour I couldn't measure a second of difference. And with the weight of a approximately a 70 centimeters height above ground. It runs approximately two hours until it's touching the floor. As initially mentioned, it was pretty tricky to fit the parts together. 
and design it properly. So it took me approximately 100 experiments to create, finally, a box of garbage. So this was my short clock story. Time is over and thanks for watching.